So Connor, thank you for doing the omega-3 index test. How did you do with the test? Was it hard to do? It was super easy. I had to prick two fingers, but ultimately I got all the blood I needed and it was, it was easy. It was not hard at all. It was very simple and I got my results within a few business days. So what was your level? So I was at a 3.89, which I was disappointed about. Don't feel bad because actually that's pretty much the North American average is 4% or even a little less. I got a 3.8%. What's your diet like? I have a plant-based diet. That's actually a little surprising. Generally, a plant-based diet person isn't getting any EPA and DHA. I'm surprised that it was as good as it was. I want it higher. We want to get you up to 8 to 12 percent. That's the target range. Being that I am plant-based, what are your recommendations for me? Stick with the plant-based diet, add a fish oil supplement. Do you do smoothies? I actually do. I have one every morning. Okay. So the liquid would be the perfect thing for you. It's called the Very Finest Fish Oil. It's a teaspoon and a half to get to the 2,000 milligrams okay. of EPA and DHA, which is what we're mm -hmm. hoping for with you. And you just put it in the smoothie. It tastes like lemon. It's not fishy nice. tasting. Do you eat fish? I do, but not all that often. So you're eating some fish. We want to make up the balance with the supplement. You can do capsules. You can do liquid. The maximum omega-2000, it's two capsules. It's 2,000 milligrams. So that's easy. You do it with a meal. The thing is consistency. You want to make sure that you're consistent with the intake. It takes about 16 weeks, but you're not going to stop at the end of that. You will have lifted your level. Now you want to stay there with consistent intake.